Yo, what's up everybody? This is Von Stampede. If you would be such a dear if you could hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon button for more videos, and thank you and have a wonderful day, okay? Okay, completion, here's the video. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Von Stampede, and today I want to talk about my thoughts on the unsung documentary of Christopher Williams. Yeah, Christopher Williams. And looking at the documentary of Christopher Williams, I'm not going to be one of those people like, oh, man, I loved his music back in the day. He really got me the girls and all that other stuff. I'm, You know, Christopher uh, Williams, like, was before my time. I mean, after my time, not before my time, but after my time. And looking at the things that I didn't know about the guy, like, I didn't know that he was biracial. He just looked like a regular light-skinned dude, though. You know, I thought, you know, both his parents was black. But, no, his daddy was white and his mom was black. But, you know, uh, where, he, where he was growing up, you know, he didn't have, like, you know, the best people to look up to besides his uncle and his um, auntie. Because his mom, she wasn't being the best parent and his dad, you know, he never met his dad, which was really sad. And, you know, going to the streets, being a bad influence. Well, not a bad influence, but basically, like, he's hanging with the wrong crowd. But luckily, he found music and was like, okay, this is something I want to do. I don't want to get into trouble anymore. And, you know, the rest was history. And then he got his biggest hit, uh, Talk to Myself, that had, like, a Bobby Brown vibe. And... Listening to that song, it sounds like something that uh, Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis is like. That's something like their old throwaway beats. I mean, not throwaway beats, but it, it sounds like a Bobby Brown song. And easily Bobby Brown could have like did a cover of that song. And you would have been like, oh, well, I guess Bobby, I guess he ripped off Bobby Brown. But more like not ripping off Bobby Brown, but more like a homage. But was it the best thing to do that? Well... I mean, it got people talking, but it didn't really give them an identity. Like, okay, who 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 is Christopher Williams? You know, we already know Bobby Brown, but what what makes Christopher Williams different than Bobby Brown? You know, you get what I'm saying. And you know, after that hit, he had a um not an altercation, but something weird happened between him and uh Al B. Short and another lady, where this lady thought they was gonna run a train up in her. And uh, things got out of hand. She thought that, you know, she was going to get raped. That uh, that didn't happen. I think it was just a, a weird situation that, hey, um, you know, Al B. Shore was just in the bathroom taking a shower. And I guess Christopher Williams had to pee. And she thought, well, something is going on. And that wasn't the case. Al B. Shore took the fall of it, which I don't know why he took the fall for it. He could have just said, hey, give me my lawyer or attorney so I can clear all this because I'm not saying anything. But luckily for Christopher uh, Williams, he, you know, didn't suffer like the same fate. His, you know, people, his team, they got everything in order. And, you know, they kind of just, it kind of just life carried on. I, I got to do, I got to do a, a, a video about that because that is, I never heard that before, so maybe they did talk about that on LB Shores Unsug episode, and I just didn't pay attention to it. It's been a while since I've seen that episode. <sighs> you know, anyway, he made some. Anyway, he did a cameo on New Jack Swing. I didn't even know he was in that movie. Um, that was cool. So he also did a. He had one of his biggest uh, hits called. Um, um, I'm dreaming and I was like oh okay man I'm, I'm thinking like this brother he doing all right and he did a, he did a uh, one of uh, Marvin Gaye's uh, songs on MTV Unplugged but MTV cut that segment off uh, from what I looked at the documentary uh, he was saying he didn't know anything about music politics and MTV it was they the crowd was aiming for you know either rock or gangster rap if you was just doing straight R&B, even though R&B at the time was uh, mingling with gangster rap. It was like forming together. Uh, Christopher Williams was not even doing that. And, you know, he went to Uptown Records and destroyed uh, one of the offices, uh, especially, you know, getting mad. Um, can you can you say P.O.? I'll, pro I'll probably like cut that or something. But anyway, um, yeah, man. And. They said he got blacklisted because of his, 
he, he couldn't control his temper. And another thing that was going down was that he was going with Holly Berry, and uh, he put his hands on Holly Berry, and made her lose uh, her right hearing. I'm like, whoa, dude, we're, like what? <laughs> and um, you know, there has been allegations going around that said, well, it was uh, Wesley Snipes who did that. So I don't know who to believe. It was just like, whoa, this is. Mm, this ain't cool. So I gotta look up interviews of Holly Berry and Christopher Williams on how that all went down. Um, they they could have got I don't know if TV One could have got Holly Berry to tell her, you know, her thoughts about that. But um, anyway, man, um, yeah, uh, blacklisted from Uptown Records. Didn't uh, really record another uh, album until like twenty years later. So maybe like what. 2000 something um uh i'm surprised they didn't ask christopher williams about the uh incident that happened to him in 20 i believe 2017 where he stole some headphones that i don't know if it was at a walmart or target but he got arrested for that so i guess they wanted to cut that out since it really wasn't that important plus it would have been super petty but i'm glad that uh christopher williams actually got um you know found his faith uh, doing little small time acting gigs like he, I didn't know he did some theater play with um um I can't I can't think of that actor's name I'm just gonna call him C J from uh, <laughs> from House of Pain so yeah he acted with him uh, quite a bit so yeah this this documentary was was, was was straight man it was just shocking to hear those details about uh, you know his love life was just going down the drain especially not with only Holly Berry. But with the uh, Stacy Dash, like, oh wow, he was with Stacy Dash before she, you know, wasn't crazy. But yeah, man, uh, I I enjoyed it. It was cool. Uh, I had to re-upload this because I said Christopher Wallace, but it's Christopher Williams. So thank you for people who, um, you know, caught my mistake. And I will make many more mistakes. So yes, I am doing more of the uh, unsung stuff, especially my version. I'm doing the gap bands. Um, I'm still editing the audio part, my voiceover part. So I'm doing that. And that's it. So anyway, people, I'm Von the Stampede. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and share this video. Did you like the documentary of Christopher Williams or did you hate it? Anyway, or, you know, if you feel like they missed something. Anyway, I'm Von the Stampede, and I'll see you guys later. Ciao.